Hey guys, it's Shannon, and I just wanted to start this vlog off for the day. Um, so if you watched the meal plan yesterday, this is actually the same day still, but I have to get ready now because we're going to be running some errands. We have to go to our financial advisor, um, something everybody should do. We should have had a financial planner a long time ago, but we didn't, but better late than never. So we're going to head over there for an appointment and then... Um, it's right by Costco, so we're gonna head over there and pick up some groceries, so we'll take you along for that. But I just thought it might be kind of fun to try um, something different. So I'm sitting at my makeup table. I'm gonna be getting ready. I'm gonna start with a baby wipe. I love baby wipes. I love these baby wipes. These are um, Huggies. This happens to be a Finding Dory, but they're cucumber and green tea. I think they're really cool. Um, what I usually just do, I don't know, I just I like to start just by wiping off my face. My face is clean because I already did, um, had a shower and everything, but I don't know. It just makes me feel better, so why not, right? So I'm going to be using this. This is Too Faced Hangover RX. It's a primer. Um, I like it. I switch back and forth between what primers I use, but... Um, I like this one. I like it a lot. So this is what I'm using right now. Um, I just like to put it all over my face. So um, yeah, totally forgot what I was going to say. Does that happen to any of you? Just completely lost my train of thought. Um, you'll have to let me know if you like this. Um, you know, I've never done something like this before, obviously. I'm gonna let my primer dry <laughs> and sink in. Anyway, yeah, I've never done anything like this. Um, it might be a little bit easier if I try to do things differently in the future because my vanity table that I use right now is kind of pressed up against the wall right here in the corner of my room. Um, and all the makeup is like all over the vanity. I showed that in one of my earlier vlogs. But um, I would really like to get a new vanity. Uh, there's one from Pottery Barn that I really love. But it's quite pricey, so haven't purchased it yet. Paul told me, go ahead and purchase it, but I'm just kind of like, eh, I don't know if I want to spend the money, even though I really want the vanity. It's white, and it has a bunch of drawers and a giant mirror. It's so cool. So, okay, anyway, I'm going to use this next. So if you saw my haul from uh, before we went to New York, I had bought this Estee Lauder Double Wear um, foundation. I'm just going to put some on my hand. That's that's how I use it. Um, I love this stuff. It is so amazing. The coverage is great. Uh, you can make it sheerer or build it up more. I like it sheerer, but I don't think I got the right color. This is cool bone, and it actually seems a little light for me. But I'm going to use my little beauty blender that I bought in that same haul. Absolutely love this thing. It's amazing. So I'm going to use that to kind of put my foundation on. So Paul and I are going to be going to the mall soon, probably, well, maybe sometime this week, hopefully. So when we do that, I want to go to Belk and um, kind of have them do a color match for me on the foundation just to see what color they think I should be wearing because you don't want your foundation to be too light. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and finish putting my foundation on. I'll see you in just a second. All right, so one of the reasons why I like to keep the baby wipe around is just to kind of wipe off the foundation and stuff off my hand after I'm done. Also, I will take my beauty blender and kind of dab it on the baby wipe just to get some of the uh, cleaner out. So I did wanna say, I had bought like off brands <laughs> of beauty blenders thinking, you know, oh, well, I'll save some money. And they were nowhere near as good as this. This is the one I think it's called, oh, here, I have it. The Original Beauty Blender. I got this at Sephora. Let's see. I got it at Sephora. I think you can get it a lot of, a lot of different places. It was $20, but it's worth every penny. Just a little little plug for them. <laughs> not getting paid to say that or anything. I just really love it. So, um, yeah. So 
so it it just like I don't know you just get it slightly damp and then it just really helps spread the foundation nicely so I love that okay I'm on a mission to use up this makeup I actually have several things I'm trying to use up I just recently finished up a couple things <laughs> so I'm excited about that but um I have had this Mac it's actually it's from the um I think it was called Hello Sailor collection this is crew and it was supposed to be a highlight powder it is not a highlight powder on me I'm pretty pale so um let me show you it has like peach pink and purple and it had like a highlighting thing on the top it was not a highlighting powder for me so I actually have been using it as a cheek blush ever since I got it and I've had it a really long time um I'll be honest, I'm not one of those people that just throw away my makeup as soon as the date says it's up. I actually, um, I go by the smell test. If it smells funky, I won't use it. If it doesn't smell funky, I'm going to use it. <laughs> so anyway, I'm on the quest to finish this one up. If you guys wear MAC products and you don't know, if you save up, I think it's a six containers and take it back, they give you a free lipstick or lip gloss, which is pretty cool. Um, so anyway, so there's that. I have a Too Faced bronzing powder. This is the Milk Chocolate. And it smells delicious. That's what it looks like. It smells amazing. I just like to put a little bit up here. Whew. My hair. Usually I do my makeup when my hair is still wet, so my hair is kind of crazy. Anyway, I brush a little bit down on my neck and a little bit up here on the sides of my cheeks and that's about it then i'm going to use an urban decay why is it upside down for you guys there you go <laughs> an urban decay a primer potion for my eyes just super simple i i love makeup but i don't do anything incredibly fancy um I would like to do more I just haven't I didn't really learn or know anything about makeup until much later in life um, my mom was not somebody that cared about makeup and I'm gonna use this Mac palette um, yeah my mom didn't care about makeup she wore like the same eyeshadow and the same face stuff her entire life pretty much and actually by the time she got to the age I am now which isn't that old by the way <laughs> Um, she just stopped wearing makeup completely. So all that to say, I was not raised. Um, you know, my mom didn't share any makeup stuff with me. And my friends, you know, were mostly pretty minimalistic with the makeup, as was I. So I just never, never really learned. Paul and I met and got married very young. We were actually... Um, when we met, we were 18 and 19, and then when we got married, we were 19 and 20. So he was 19, I was 20 when we got married, yes. I'm six months older than him. Um, so yeah, we were just babies when we got married, and then we had our first son a year later. <laughs> and if you know anything about kids, they pretty much take up all your money. So, um, I wasn't spending a lot of money on makeup. I mean, I was just buying drugstore makeup, which is fine. That, you know, nothing wrong with that, but it was like by the bare necessities, like by one eyeshadow, you know, you don't need more than that. So kind of stayed that way for a long time. And then as you know, our income started freeing up a little bit more, I started exploring a little more. And one day we were at the mall and Paul's like, why don't you go into Mac? Like our mall has a Mac store. He's like, why don't you go in there and just see and let them do your makeup? So I did and I left there spending quite a bit of money and it's haven't looked back since <laughs> so hopefully he doesn't regret taking me in there because it's been a lot of fun purchases ever since then so oh yeah I forgot to show you I was just gonna use this mascara it's just let's see it's a cover girl from the Star Wars collection I love this you will meet your destiny it's awesome so yeah, there's that. 
I'm gonna put a little bit of lipstick on. This is just a lipstick queen. It is, what's the color? I can't see it. Hello Sailor. <laughs> um, it's blue, but it doesn't go on your lips blue. It actually just kind of reacts to your lips and then it turns like a red based on whatever shade your lips are. I'm also going to use some of this Urban Decay Makeup Setting Spray that I bought in that same haul before New York. I love it. Whew. So that's pretty much it. Super low fuss. I'm ready to go. So I'm going to take you guys, well Paul and I both are going to take you guys along. Hope you enjoy it and let's just see where the day takes us. Okay, so I want to point out somebody in the comments said that you couldn't see the pollen. Maybe, I don't know if you can see, if you were saying you couldn't see it on my car or in your area, but can you see it now? The yellow haze everywhere. It's kind of hard to tell, but over here on the windows, you can just see like, oh, the pollen is so gross. So nasty. Welcome to North Carolina. I'll try this shot too. I'm now inside the car. I don't know if you can see or not. I'll have to look when I'm editing, but there's just a yellow haze. My car is silver. It looks all fuzzy. It's funny. It looks like puffy and fuzzy. Yeah, nasty. Like a, like a chia pet, like you pet. No, it's yucky. Okay, so you can see up ahead is Costco. We Costco, finished. Costco, Costco, going to Costco. Why are you singing a Costco song? Just for fun. <laughs> you sang it a minute ago. I just got it in my head now. <laughs> Okay, so we finished our appointment and we're gonna go in here and pick up some groceries for our meal plan So we'll probably just show you some of the fun stuff we're getting along the way and if they have anything super cool, too We'll show you that Okay, so I always get sucked in by these things <laughs> They put them on the ends because they know I'm a sucker. Look, they're Six dollars off right now. So they're only twenty four dollars. It's glass <laughs> but it has, not to buy it. it has the snapware lids and you get 18 pieces. So you get nine bowls nine lids for twenty four dollars it's on sale. And, I could, and Paul? I could buy a mortar and pestle. What do we need a mortar and pestle for? I don't think we need it for anything, but now that I see it, I kind of want it. <laughs> Look at it. It's it's pretty cool. It's mortary and pestle-y. You could grind fresh guacamole. pepper. Guacamole. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Make guacamole. No. So, look. $14.99. Costco yeah. is seriously the best prices. It does. Okay, so again, with the getting sucked in. We well, haven't even got a, got a full row. The mortar and pestles are right there. Okay, they're we're going right to turn. There. They're right there. See them? We, right we made one row. <laughs> and now we're here. Another sort of end cap item. Look. These big throw blankets for $9.99. It says super luxurious. Seriously, guys, these are the softest blankets I think I've ever felt. We came in here for food. We haven't even looked at food yet. <laughs> and I want this one right here because it's not coming up very gray on camera. It actually looks a little weird on camera, at least what I'm seeing, but it's my new color scheme for my house. It's gray with Tiffany blue. How awesome is that? And what then Paul, where's yours? You like... So, uh, no, I like this one. Oh yeah. I like this he one. likes it, the one next door. Yeah, it's a white See? and blue one. It's uh, got Florida leaves and paisleys on it. So pretty. It is pretty. And that purple one right there is really pretty. That one's pretty too. That's like and mandalas. That's but I actually, I like this one too. This like chain link one. That one's good because it hides dirt. It's dark blue. <laughs> huh. So I think we need to pick some of these up. What do you guys think? Darn you, Costco. Darn you. So one of the things I love about Costco is their produce department. I'll just kind of show you. It's ginormous. It's so big. They have so many fruits and veggies. They even have a freezer or a refrigerator back there with more stuff. But I noticed a lot of you were commenting that you live um, in a different country than us. So you like seeing some of the stuff. So this is one of the things. We actually have two of these in the cart already. They are strawberries. And that's a two pound pack. Oh, there's Paul. <laughs> For $4.99, which is a bargain. Paul's sniffing the clementines. clementines. So they have really good produce here and great prices. So I'm sorry, I'm probably gonna offend some people right now, but ew, that's all I gotta say, ew. It's an octopus. Ew, look, ew. I, don't, I think that's that's a squid. Yeah, ew, that's what that is, mm -hmm. ew. It's supposedly very good. Gross. Costco update, there's my purse, isn't it pretty? 
here are our two blankets. Paul's getting that she one. She's been rubbing it. And I'm getting that one. Down. They're soft. I could take a nap on one. Okay, and then, oh yeah, let me show you this. Look at this. Honey Baked Ham, two $50 gift cards for 80 bucks. So we were gonna get Honey Baked Ham anyway for yep. Easter, and you get 20 buck discount. So yep. that's a good deal. That is. And. We got eggs. Eggs. Meatballs? Then we have a bunch of impulse purchases. Yeah. So I found this on an end cap. Uh, these are Adele's. Chicken meatballs. Yeah. Teriyaki Which, and pineapple. His stuff is good. I like his stuff. I want to try these. And I have the organic ground beef that I normally buy here. Some bread, a bunch of strawberries. Bagels. Can of carrot carrots. Oranges. We have a lemon Chips. curd cheesecake. That's that's Paul's. That's my contribution. Contribution. Here's and my contribution. Just the bunnies. So seriously, we came in for just a couple things for the meal <laughs> plan, and now the cart is almost full. I don't know why this happens. Shannon and I are dangerous together. We are dangerous together. We should just one of us should come. But I mean, they just sell cool stuff. I know somebody that would love those grilled vegetables yeah i just uh, them sitting in that liquid just bothers me <laughs> it does pickled beets like those those pickled red what are those pickled yeah those peppers. are weird roasted raw pepper. but they're like, really good like I in like certain foods all right so we're gonna hopefully just pick up a couple more things and then get out of here okay so we made it out of there alive <laughs> barely and still with a little bit of money yeah Barely. Barely. <laughs> so there's the pizzas we picked up for dinner. I'll just show you some of the stuff. We got frozen meatballs for the meatball sliders. I know, and that breaks Paul's heart. It to does. Frozen stuff, but it's just more convenient for right now. Yeah. Spaghetti sauce. We're gonna go with a quick meal for that, so we're using the frozen. Oranges. There's those chicken meatballs he showed. We picked up bagels, pizzas for the boys. Lots of diced tomatoes and tomato sauce because yep. Paul's been making his own tomato sauce. Yep. Um, two things of strawberries. I don't know what that is. Oh, that's, that's the ground beef. beef. Yep. We picked up some naked juices and... Oh, show this. You gotta show this. Oh, yeah. Look at the mangoes, guys. That's so exciting. She has never had mangoes. these, but she loves mangoes, so... Yep. With those. And I picked up oregano and basil. Yep. And what's that? Worcestershire sauce? Yeah. Lee and parents. And more ketchup than one family needs. <laughs> Three big, huge things. We have Hawaiian rolls. We have more bread. And this is our French toast bread. It's going to be oatmeal bread. We're going to give it a try. We're going to give that a try. any idea what that's like. Yeah. So, and then he just has to get the eggs and his cheesecake out. So, yeah, those are going to go in the back seat. Yep. All right, so that is pretty much it. I think we're going to call this vlog good. Yeah. Hopefully you enjoyed coming along with us. Leave the video a thumbs up if you liked it. And tell us what you'd like to see Thank next you. time. And we'll talk to you later, guys. See you later.